some of y'all have probably some people you want to shout out, but you know, I think that some of the people right here are just rock stars. And I'm gonna start with Cassidy. Um, of course, you've just been killing it for a long time. And I keep expecting you to like fall on the ground <laughs> yeah, at some point. You don't run out of energy. And watching you gather with your girls and content create and continue to post beauty, beautiful things and start school. It's just like an incredible example um, to everyone about consistency and showing up beautifully. So good job. And then Annalise, okay, stop it. <laughs> like what the heck? <laughs> everyone wants to be Annalise right now. Um, gosh, you know, you are just the Instagram rock star and the way you have just learned the algorithm and told us that the algorithm changed. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, good job on staying just so current and um, you're winning. You're definitely winning. And I can't wait to hear from you tonight on that. Um, so yay. And then um, of course, Alexis, you just are always so good about gathering your team and breathing life into them and encouraging them and you are so consistent, Alexis. And I just want you to know that I see that. I love, I mean, you're my daughter and I enjoy our friendship, but I so in love work. I love working with you um, because you are so responsible. <laughs> you know, you, what does scripture say? That somebody who's not dependable is a rotten tooth and you're, you are kind of a really strong enamel. Um, and then, um, I'm sorry, I'm shouting so many people out. Just one more, I have just one more my mom. Okay. Um, mom, I just think you're incredible because wow, dang it. You went all the way to that event by yourself in downtown Dallas, stayed all day, took copious notes, came home excited. I just, that was amazing. And so I can't wait to hear from you tonight on what you're going to share. But okay. Anybody else? <laughs> Shall I leave anybody? Um, the person I wanted to shout out isn't here tonight. I don't think. Let me make sure real quick. Yeah, no, she's not here. I just wanted to shout out Abigail because she's been um, just super consistent on Instagram. Like she set a goal, like I'm going to do um, a real day for seven days. And she did it. And then she's like, I'm do it again. And then she did it again. Wow. Um, I think she's on week three. But um, it was just really cool seeing her set a goal and stick to it. I wish she was here to hear me. I'm recording it so she can hear. Okay, me. good. <laughs> yeah, but that's awesome. That's hard. And um, wow, I've been, I have noticed that also with her. So that's cool. Anyone else? Um, okay. So I want to shout out Miranda and I see her on the call. So I'm so glad. Okay. So Miranda, um, for those of y'all who don't know, she built with me a while ago, left to go join Q Sciences and then recently came back and honestly, like I was a little bit nervous of the transition back. I knew she would come back because young living is the best. Right. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of nervous and uh, <laughs> tasted some spaghetti. Um, I was a little bit nervous, but honestly, I'd never seen someone handle something like this with such humility, like the way she legitimately went and told the whole world, like, Hey, I made a mistake. I regret it not going to do it again. Like I realize I want to serve people. Um, that spoke so much to me just as a leader, like to see coming forth with humility and saying, you know what, I'm here to serve people. I want to do that. And she's been, she's been doing just that she jumped in full force, serving, loving people. And, you know, it's just, it's been really fun to watch. I agree. I agree. I saw that Miranda and she reached out to me too. And I was like, wow, um, the way you handled that ha was so graceful. And I think that your respect level in um, your tribe's eyes went up. So you handled that beautifully. So good job there. Okay. Anyone else? I want to shout out Anna real quick because I know she moved away to college and even through moving to college and everything, she's been like so consistent. Like I admire her so much for always just staying consistent on Instagram and everything. So I want to shout out Anna and I, I love you and I miss you. I can't believe you're not in Texas anymore. Right. I know it's not right. <laughs> we miss you. I miss you already. Yes, I agree. Good job, Andrea. 
Okay, yeah, we could just literally shout each other out all night because we have the best team of people who are just, I mean, we really do. I just wanna say that we have such a great tribe of women who love each other and support each other and link arms. And I just, I love this time. Um, so, um, just shout outs real quick to Annalise. She has always, she's always there for me and I've needed that so much. I, I feel isolated sometimes where I am in, um, you know, way over here by myself and it's my fault because I need to be enrolling and then I won't be all by myself. But Annalise is there for me. She is so encouraging. And then Alexis yesterday insisted that I join her and, and Sydney and Annalise in that Monday night thing. Oh my goodness. That boosted my morale so much. I, I just thank you girls. And thank you so much. And thank you, Terry. You're always there too. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. Well, we love you, Mimi. We wouldn't love thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. We wouldn't be here if you weren't a Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you. Um, okay, so I just want to acknowledge that the past six weeks have been, we've had a lot of speed bumps. Do you, have you felt it? <laughs> okay, so Young Living handed us a gift, the gift that we've wanted for years, the, the gift to be able to enroll somebody with one product wholesale. Okay. We got it, but it didn't come without a lot of challenges and it left a lot of people standing in the middle of the road, like a deer with headlights. <laughs> Not everybody, because we still have, I mean, like Cassie ranked gold and we have a lot of rock stars who are moving and grooving and growing and they didn't, um, you know, let that deter them. But I would say team YL as a whole, I don't know if you've noticed, cross support everywhere. Um, it's kind of quiet. It's, it's just quiet. And um, I, this is in our favor. I just want to say that this is definitely in our favor and I'm going to get to that in just a second. But all of these things that they're working through are about to be fixed forever because the new platform is new software. It's not old software upgraded. It's brand new platform and it has the capacity to continue to put add-ons and upgrades and we will never outgrow it. So I don't know if you've ever had a beautiful ordering experience with another company and you're like, why couldn't YL do that? You know, maybe Amazon or something. That's what we're moving towards and that's what we're about to have. So just hang tight because I am super excited. And for those of you who didn't get frozen <laughs> from all the, the speed bumps, good job on your tenacity. Um, and your determination, um, your why is strong. And I, and I just want you to know that I have seen you. So um, can you imagine what it would be like if you had to make your product, market your product, deliver your product, mail your product? Has anybody ever done that before? Before, like when I first got married, I started Terry's Guilt Free Treats. And I used to make in my bathtub, <laughs> don't tell anybody, I had bowls and bowls and bowls in my bathtub. I made like, um, this is when like low fat and, you know, no sugar was all the rage. And I made all these really healthy cookies and I had to buy all the products in bulk, make them all in my bathtub, find my yogurt stores and cookie stores to deliver them to. I did everything. Okay. I had to market myself. I had to get a law firm to like, give me the, what is it called? The circle copyright thing. Okay. All that. All that. Okay. So big deal. It was a lot of work. So coming into Young Living where they take care of the product and they deliver the product and they just sometimes have website problems. Okay. A lot that I can handle that. Okay. Cause I know what it's like to be in charge of the product <laughs> making it. So, um, yeah, I'm just really thankful for that. And not one person on this call or on our team joined Young Living for the website. Did you No, you joined it for the product. So if you have, if you ever, if you have a builder as we're working through these last few kinks, these last few weeks and whatever we're going to deal with, just remind them of that. We have so much to be thankful for and we can handle it. I, I know that a few of y'all have done this too. I've spent my time with my customers who may have been frustrated putting 
little credits on their account and sending them little gifts and making it okay and laughing with them and saying, yeah, I know it's the slow boat from China, but we'll eventually get it, you know, COVID, <laughs> whatever. Um, um, so yes, it's all in perspective and the way we handle it and the way we help our people to think like they are going to mirror our attitudes and they're going to mirror our responses. So just remember that. And if you get really, really frustrated, always complain up, go up, come to me, cry your heart out to me, you know, and I can, I can sit there with you and then pull you out of it. But if you go down, you can totally disassemble your team. And um, I think y'all know that, but I just want to reiterate that. Okay. Um, let me look at my notes here. For those people who feel stuck, if you feel like, okay, I've just been sitting and I don't know what to do, throw me a life jacket. I took a poll today and we had a lot of people say, throw me a life jacket. Um, the answer is, there's an answer. Um, first, use more of your product and use it in public and share it. it you, you're probably not using your product very much if you're stuck and you're more than likely not sharing it. So Annalise, tell us about your, what you've been doing. I think you win the prize of sending out the most samples. Um, so I'm kind of in a unique position of having a lot of people to send samples to right now with the momentum that I have on Instagram. Um, but I think in general, samples are like the heartbeat of our business because um, like we have always said about in-person classes, um, getting oils in the hand, there's something magical about getting oils in the hands of people and letting them like see them and feel them and smell them. Um, so samples are that for people, but I shared about, it was like over the course of two days, the benefit of respiratory support oils like eucalyptus and RC and, um, peppermint. And I talked about how I was having respiratory issues and I put those oils um, on the top of my feet and in between my toes and on my chest. Um, and I think I, you know, talked about the Vitaflex points and I just really stressed on those oils. And then the next day I offered who wants a respiratory support roller. <laughs> um, and so they kind of had in their mind what I had talked about before, plus during this season of everyone that has respiratory issues, um, everyone wanted a roller. So I sent out 20 samples of these respiratory support rollers. Um, and it was more expensive for me because um, 18 out of 20 of those people were out of state, but it wasn't too bad at all. It was like, in my opinion, doable for, out of, out of state shipping, yeah, 20 rollers. <laughs> out of state shipping, it was $5 a box um, for the shipping alone. The box cost 96 cents. Um, I already keep in stock those rollers because I love them and I keep them for DIY parties at my house. I also like to give them as gifts to people, like to new customers and giving samples to my friends here in the area. Um, but they're, it's like a 24 pack for 15 bucks on Amazon and they're high quality and they don't leak. So I trust shipping them. Um, but it, it, the shipping in total, it was like 102 bucks for a postcard, the box and sending out those rollers. A hundred percent worth it. Um, I have had success in rolling complete strangers that I have no mutual friends with doing stuff like this. So I highly recommend, um, but like I said in my live video, like last week, always go for your warm contacts first because they'll be ready to take a sample for you before someone you don't know is. But make sure to be talking about the oils and then offer the samples because then they'll know what you're talking about and they'll want it. Um, were those all the details you want me to cover, Mom? Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, okay. we are just like you know, we are going to enroll the people that we're talking to and we're gonna enroll the people that we're giving samples to. So if you're like, I don't have anybody to enroll. Well, first of all, look at your calendar or think about who did you talk to today? Did you only talk to your husband <laughs> and your dog? Okay, so they're not, you know, your husband might already be signed up. Can't sign up your dog. So who did you talk to? Do you need to join a new group? 
what do you need to do? Do you need to take up a new sport? Um, do you need to expand your network? Um, do so. Um, the way Annalise expanded her network was, um, and first let me say, Annalise is my almost my most introverted child. So she's very introverted, but she has learned that if she wants a high quality of life, that she's going to extend herself and make herself known. One thing she won't do on Instagram very much of is sh talk about her life or her family. She sh shows cheap a lot. And I'm like, but we want to see more of you cooking and you with Sam. And she's like, I don't want to show that. So, okay. So what she did was, and I took note of this, and Brock Johnson um, also stated this, and then I noticed it on Annalise's. Her reel that went viral was about sunscreen being toxic and causing cancer. When all those people went to her Instagram to look, who is this girl? Every single one of her posts was consistent with the with the viral reel. So if she had put if that reel had gone, reel had gone viral and they went to her. Instagram and it was ugly and it was all about chief and it was nothing about oils or health. They wouldn't have followed her, but she was ready for them. So she had people going into her. Um, this into is a her, great question. Uh, Erica, I am annoying. Uh oh, somebody's unmuted. She had people going into her um, her highlights and um, going through her highlights and asking her questions. So those are systems set in place. And I asked her, how did you think about your highlights? And she put a frequently a most FAQs on essential oils. You know, I don't know what all her highlights are. I haven't looked through all of them, but they were interesting enough and along what the rest of her feed had. So it, she immediately was able to grab those people. So that, I think that's pretty cool. And we can all learn from it because I myself am guilty of, being pretty um, random, <laughs> you know, talking about too many things on my Instagram. I just recently cleaned that up. So um, thank you, Annalise, for sharing that. Um, let me look at my notes real fast. Okay, yes, Alexa says she's the queen of random. It is genetic, sweetheart. Okay, my mom is going to, she went to the YL Discover event in Dallas, which I highly recommend getting to events and getting your people to events. People who get their teams to events have the most success. Um, at the last Diamond Bound event I attended, um, Evangeline Reed had 60 people there and it was in Chicago. Evangeline Reed is a crown diamond. And you can see she's really good at getting people at events. Um, so mom, tell us your biggest takeaway from the YL Discover event in Dallas. Um, do you want me to take you off mute? Hold on. You don't know how. Uh, do you see the little microphone at the bottom? Unmute. Okay, can y'all see me? Yeah. I can't, oh no. Have I been picking my nose? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you can see me. Okay. Huh. I can't see me. <laughs> Don't worry. Now my, no Jesus. Now my nose itches. <laughs> you funny. Yes, we can see you. <laughs> okay. I would like to see what I look like. Okay. You're adorable. All right. No. So, okay. At that, what do you call that thing? Wild. Wild discover. discover. Yes. Or discover wild. Oh my gosh. That was. The biggest thing I saw was people who have been with Young Living for so long. I mean, I got to sit there in the presence and listen to all these down to earth six and seven figure income people that don't care a hoot about money. It doesn't seem like they care about the product. That's what I took away. I love that so much because everybody, and they really brought this home. The thread that went through all the speakers was what brings people into Young Living. If you're coming in here for the money, you're not going to start making a lot of money right away. That's not, it's, it's about the product. And then when you fall in love with the product, then you realize the business. And, um, Every single one of them, not one of those people 
But yeah, one did. One person came in and said what she had said for like three years or four years longer uh, that she would never do that. She would never do Young Living. Her best friend did it. And that friend came when her daddy was dying and just put oils on him every day and prayed over him. And she said, I was a horrible person. I was so rude to her. I told her I would never do Young Living. And this is Heather Brock. And she said that um, about two years after her dad died, something happened that made her realize, oh my goodness, you know, what she had, I think she got sick and that woman brought her something and she realized the healing that came through that. And um, I mean, she was kind of crying when she was talking about this because she felt so bad how she did her friend that was so kind to her dad. But it was the product that she gave her that made her realize she wanted to do this. And she said, like, two days after she, her friend was a Royal Crown Diamond, after she signed up, she said, I want to be a Royal Crown, Di Royal Crown Diamond. And two years later, she was. Uh, but she did it by sharing with people. She got so excited about sharing the product. And I already knew that that that's why I love doing this but to see that after all we've gone through and the two people that walked away and you know this why whatever this thing is that we've gone through with the internet and people getting so discouraged I think that that might be one of the best things that ever happened young living because people are realizing why they're why and the why is huge uh, a lot of people and this was said by some of the the diamonds a lot of people that walk away at this point really didn't you know it's okay because they probably didn't get the whole what this is about thing um they talked about young about gary young oh i just wish so much i had known gary young but if we all had a had an idea and had a picture of what that man did pictures they showed us videos and um lots of pictures from the very beginning he had to be he had to be feel like noah i mean he got laughed at he was people ridiculed him and said you're crazy they called him crazy because he was the person who brought essential oils to the world he was the first one right. and um to see that he did that they showed us did you go to saint marie's yes we did oh my goodness that's huge uh yeah and now they're there they have trips you can go there now you can take your team yeah. there but uh the the love that is in the company the team the way people love each other the way they love the people that they serve and it, it's like these people all have servants hearts it's just the sweetest thing the woman that was from um where was she from bolivia was talking and I mean, I can't believe she flew from Bolivia for this. Another person flew from Guadalajara. Uh, these people have such a loyalty to this company. And it's, it's not because they make so much money. They work hard to make the money they make. But uh, it's for the product and because what the things they see happening, the stories they told of oils they've shared, that have changed people's lives from their children's lives to, you know, babies to just totally uh, give people a new, a new, what's the word? Uh, it's a game changer for, for your, for your, the rest of your life when you, a part of your body is healed. And it was something that was so simple and you're always tied to that person forever. Did that make sense? It in does. Heaven? In fact, it ties into what Mary Young, Mary spoke on the grounds at St. Marie's when we were there last couple weeks ago. And she said, um, this is too hard for the money. Like there's not enough money. I mean, like, you know, she's like, what I do and what we do, there's not enough money. She said, if I just did this for the money, I wouldn't be doing it. And she's a what? A multi-billionaire. Okay. Right. She was like, this is too hard for the money. And she said, it's your testimonies that mm -hmm. keep going. So when I went up to her after she spoke and said, Mary, I want you to know that I can walk because of BLM. She said, sweetheart, I want you taking Agilese. <laughs> I go, well, I like BLM. She 
said, well, Gary made Angelis for that. So um, yeah, anyway, now I just, I'm scared to stop taking BLM, but I added Angelis. I thought that was so funny and super complex. And she told me one of her stories, but I thought that was interesting. It is true. And the two people who did leave Young Living Mom, they're still customers. That's what Jordan Schrantz said, which just- Oh my gosh. He, you know, like people who buy and living are customers for life. So it is the only business that makes sense to build in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so that's a digression. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, let me see. Um, it is almost 30 minutes and I told y'all we'd be 30 minutes. Um, so let me leave y'all with this, okay? I took a poll. We're gonna have power hour, okay? So that um, everybody who's wanting to gather and get some inspiration can. If you feel stuck, um, you're not stuck. If you're maintaining, this has been, let me just tell you, in my six years of building, my paycheck has been like this. It has never gone. Whew, whew. Like if I was having to live off my paycheck, I wouldn't be worried because when you build a strong foundation, you, it's because like what we just said, even people who leave the business still may remain product the buyers. <laughs> Okay, so if you're doing a good job getting the samples out there, that's if you feel stuck, get samples out there is my point, and you will move your business forward. Um, so we're going to address everything that was taken in the poll, um, the silvers and the golds, and we're going to come with y'all and um, link arms with you and get everybody um, on their feet running towards their goals, um, because I am not in it necessarily for the money, but I think the money's fun, and I plan on making a lot more. <laughs> just had to throw that out there too i love the people i love the community and the money's fun so um it's nine o'clock it's been exactly 30 minutes if nobody has anything else then i'm gonna wrap up the call let's take a group picture everybody show yourself <laughs> show yourself even if you're in your bathrobe um oh sparrow and she has clothes on okay let me take it, Christy. Okay, one, two, happy faces. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, love everybody. I'll see y'all online. Bye. Bye, thank you. Sure, see y'all later. Bye, Sparrow.